as All-American punter Terry Daniel waits for the snap. Back at his 10. Daniel with an average in excess of 49 yards a kick last year. There's the shoulder high snap and he booms it away and boy he put a howitzer in orbit. Up back to the 15 yard line and Smith lost knocked away. He's going to come up with a loose ball on the lead. Ole Miss a fumble. Who are they going to give it to? Auburn. At the 23 24 yard line a 60 yard returning the ball. Smith had it knocked away. Daryl Riggins fell on it at the Ole Miss 24. It looked almost at first, Jim, that Terry Daniel had outkicked his coverage. Boy, did he ever kick that ball a mile high. He kicked it so far that the Auburn uh, defenders, the coverage team, were the only people downfield. Nobody from Ole Miss was downfield to lend any aid to their return man. And as he was hit for the first time, the ball went straight up in the air. Daryl Riggins came up with a football. That's a huge turnover early in the game. And for the first time today, Nick will load up the shotgun. Got a set of twin receivers to the left and one to the right side. There's the deep snap to Nick. Takes the short drop. Pumps it over the middle. Sanders at the 10. Cuts inside of the 5. Sanders to the 3-yard line. Sanders with a 10-yard gain, and that'll be another first down. Frazier, the fullback. The tailback is Malcolm. Nix is going to sneak. Nix is going to burrow into the pile. He's in there. Patrick Nix on the quarterback sneak. And again, the offensive line had that good first and second effort and surged and pushed Ole Miss off the ball as Auburn covers 24 yards in eight plays and draws first blood with 9-12 to play in the first period. Give a lot of kudos to that offensive line. Shannon Robeek at center, Leonard Thomas, and Jason Taylor at the guard. On three occasions in the ball game already, they've pushed forward on short yardage for first down and a touchdown on that play. Joe Woods checked in at a wideout, a third and 13 at the 27 for Nelson. And he runs out of time, and he is hit, and they've got him sacked. Mike Pelton came firing through there. And for a while, I don't think Nelson even realized that Pelton was a threat. Neither did I. Came sneaking in and got him around the ankles and wrestled him down for a big loss back to the 18. He was tied last year, Mike Pelton, for second on the team. In fact, had five sacks coming into this season. Uh, he brings all of those intangibles in on that Auburn defense. He's the heart of the defensive line. Here is Nix out of the eye, takes the toss, rolls to his left, and fires up the near sideline, and Bailey catches it at the 45, and he darts up close to midfield and out of bounds at the 49. Bonner was covering on the play, but that's an 18-yard gain to Thomas Bailey. Derek Jones bumped him out of bounds along the near side. High formation. They need a yard and a half. Here's Nick faking. He's under pressure. He shoots a pass up field. Tight end catches it at the 20. Broke a tackle at 15 to the 10 to the 5. He's gone! Jesse McCovery! Touchdown! Over! 26 yards! Jim, what an outstanding block by Andy Fuller on that play. The two tight ends set. Andy Fuller was the tight end on the left side. Jesse McCovery was the tight end on the right side. Fake toss sweep to the left. And then Patrick Nix on a naked bootleg came out, had a lot of pressure from big Norman Hand on that side, but he found Jesse McCovery in the flat for the first down. Someone was right on his tail to make the tackle, and Andy Fuller flattened it. What a block. Two innocent is the setback. Slot to the right, one wide out to the near side. Nelson to throw. Nelson is under pressure. Nelson is hit. He's going down inside the five. Big pass rush from Gary Walker and Marcellus Mosteller. Loss of 13, and Auburn's got its second sack of the afternoon. Mark Smith is the Ole Miss setback. Slot formation right for Josh Nelson. Going to give it to Smith. Smith is hit behind the line. Broke away, broke a tackle, looking for running room. He is hit. He is down in the end zone. That'll be a safety. He would not go down. Kept squirming around back there, scrambling for running room. And finally, Anthony Harris yanked him down behind the, the uh, goal line, along with Dell McGee and Auburn is short of safety on Ole Miss. Well, Mark Smith is a junior running back, but he really didn't play a lot last year. He carried the ball uh, 56 times over the course of the year, only about five or so times a game, had 300 yards rushing, and he showed a little bit of inexperience, even though he's a junior on that play, Jim, because he was hemmed in inside the 10-yard line, and he really should have just ducked under that pile and just lined it back up, but he kept trying to reverse feel, and he went into the end zone, and then someone caught him in the end zone, and about five of the Tigers smothered him right inside the goal line. I think Del McGee got the first hand on him, and then it was Harris coming in to finish him off, and it's an Auburn safety, and it's 16 to 3 with a minute 16 to go. Auburn leads it 16 to 10 from the eye. Slot formation left, toss sweep, tailback, 
Cutting it inside, Davis breaking tackles to the 20 to the 15, Davis to the 10, Davis on to the six yard line. Auburn's got a man down and hurt back along the line of scrimmage, but Stephen Davis picks up 20 yards and a first down. Davis is the tailback. Frazier's the fullback, and here's Davis carrying the ball off the top sweep. Davis is in. Touchdown, Auburn! Stephen Davis. Toss sweep to the near side, and he cut it inside, and they stopped him. I saw it right at the goal line, but they say he broke the plane, and he scores the six points. Network. Here's Nelson running a play. Nelson's in trouble. He is hit behind the line. He's going down outside the 10. Brian Robinson off the safety blitz, and Nelson ran right into his arms. Big loss on the play. Boy, what a big play by Brian Robinson. He was coming with the free safety blitz. Auburn took the gamble. Coach Wayne Hall decided to send his free safety. What was happening was in the backfield, Josh Nelson was faking and going on the bootleg, a naked bootleg, but right in his face when he turned around was number 20 for Auburn, Brian Robinson. So from the eight, here's a third down and goal for Ole Miss. Josh Nelson with one setback. Backpedaling, setting up the throw under pressure. Hit, got away, hit again, and dropped. Back at the 12-13 yard line. Auburn had tremendous pressure from Willie Whitehead. Whitehead on the tackle. Loss on the play, back to the 13. Resurgent Ole Miss, trying to pull off the upset of the favorite Auburn Tigers. Nelson to throw. Nelson flushed out of the pocket, dodging tackles. Kent dodged that one, and he's sacked back at the 14. It was Scott Stacy, the junior college transfer from Prattville, Alabama, who hit him along with Gary Walker. Scott Stacy making his Auburn debut today. And they nailed him back along the 13-14 yard line. And Ole Miss will settle for a field goal try of 30 yards by Tim Mont. Down by 12 points on the previous drive, Ole Miss went for it on fourth down, got the touchdown, pulled them within five. And now Tim Mont, five points down, going to try the three-pointer. Slight angle to the right. Mont kicks. Ball is blocked. Ball is blocked. No good. Kick is no good. Who was it? Chris Schilling, they say, who fired through there and blocked the field goal try by Mont. Auburn has held. Auburn has held. Great defensive stand, and it's 22-17 with 3:11 left in the ball game. So a fourth down play with 14 seconds left. One setback. Back to throw. Nelson. Nelson hit. They sack him, and down he goes, and that'll be the ball game. It was Pelton and Whitehead who converged and made the sack. Eight seconds showing on the clock, but that's the end of it. As Auburn will get out of here with a frightening victory over Ole Miss. The Tigers taking over on down at the Ole Miss 26. Nix is just going to drop to a knee to start the clock with the snap of the ball. And that will be the end of the game as play will expire here in Oxford, Mississippi. The Auburn Tigers have extended college football's longest winning streak to 12 in a row with a 22 to 17 victory over the homestanding Ole Miss Rebels. One, two, three. That's a fine win there now. That's a fine win. You're daggum 12 and 0. And ain't nobody else 12 and 0. That's a fine win. They, they, they did a good job. They did a good job. Defense, y'all saw more junk. I mean, the, you shut down the first thing, they kept having stuff. That was a great job. We didn't know what to expect. They hadn't seen that stuff half the time we we're here. That's a great job because when they had to take guts at the end and you had to go down there and make it happen, you made it happen. I'm proud of you. Offense, 22 points against that team. They, they didn't give up 22 at one time last year. That's 22 points. And we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't execute like we should. We didn't execute the whole thing. But let, the, let's give the credit to them. Man, I'm proud of you. Let's don't, no slowing down now, man. No slowing. That's, that's going to that's come back and be a sweeter win than you think. It definitely gave us a gut check at the end. You know, that third quarter drive, we had to do it. You know, we really needed to take that crowd out of the game. And, um, you know, they made it 16 to 10. And we drove the ball straight down the field and scored. You know, we showed a lot of character. You know, we, we really built a chemistry on the team today. You know, really um, found out what we were about. On the sneaks, you got so much yardage. Was it, was, what was the situation there? Well, we, we on the sneaks, uh, while it is is wedge block, and I just stand in those guards up and Leonard and Jason just coming and plowing into the back of me and getting good push so I mean, it worked this time first touchdown it was 
It was unexpected, but it was great. I got across the end zone. It seemed like the end zone was so far away, but I made it. And your old buddy got the block to spring you. Yeah, and my, he's my roommate as well, and uh, I give him all the credit on that, on that great block. And uh, I'm just happy to take this victory back to Auburn. Might be a good time to play these guys today. Yeah, <laughs> they, the they just going to get better as the season goes along. Coach told me I was, you know, I was going to get the ball a lot, so I was looking forward to it, and it was something I really thought about for us before the season came. You were close two or three times, and you finally blocked the big one, huh? Well, I knew I was going to get one. They, uh, the end was so close inside, and I thought I had got a couple of ones earlier, but I, I missed them so close, like you said. And at the end, I, I knew I ran down, and I knew I had to get it at the end to make a big play for our defense. You just want, you just have a taste for the dramatic. You saved the good one for last. <laughs> well, I, I needed it, and, and the defense needed it, too. Boy, did they. <laughs> I don't know if that was your first sack of the day, but it sure was a big one. Yeah, well, I just went in, and they put me in for my quickness and everything. And it was far down and long. That's what I do best is pat the rust pasture. So, you know, I had to go in and get him. You were out there all alone with the punch return a guy and you got locked up on him. Oh, yes, I did. The only thing I did, I just watched his belt buckle. I learned that in high school. <laughs> you watch his belt buckle, you always get him down. Wherever that belt buckle goes, that's where he's going to go. Yeah, and that's where I'm going to go. We was just getting good pressure on him and uh, taking out their line blocking scheme. We just got good pressure on him the first half. After, after you all kind of got the edge off and he started having a little time, he got a lot more effective. Yeah, he did. He's going to be a good quarterback in this league because uh, when he had time to sit back there and throw, he actually got some great passes on. But we can't decide if you or Brian Brentsfield called the fumble but I know you got the fumble after it was on the ground, right? Right. Uh, you were coming from the outside? Yeah, from the wing position. And uh, and I think you and Brian got there about the same time. Yeah. Turned it into a touchdown anyway, and it was big. Yeah, it was. It helped the team out a lot. Especially the team, you can make big plays, we can win. Who caused the fumble? Do you know? <laughs> I really don't. I don't know, but I I, I, I might have. I might have hit him. time, weren't you? I might have hit him, but uh, I don't know. I, I saw him coming up toward me, and right. next time the ball's loose. Well, well <laughs> if you did, congratulations. Yeah. Thanks <laughs> a